Hello, gamer is back. And you are watching a Puerto Rich video, guys. This new in Blast Fruits. But before starting, sure you support the so Starcode Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys. Every time you use my Starcode, I get paid. Where the actor slam? Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. How will you enjoy the Kitsune and the Dragon Fruit rework if you're poor? So here are five ways to get rich in Blast Fruits before update 21. Okay, so we're gonna start in the first C. Yes, this can also be used by low-level players. That's why we're gonna start in the first C, okay? Okay, so this video is for everyone. First, if you have a portal fruit, this will be really good. So again, if you have portal fruit, okay, for those no portal fruit, it's okay, guys. This will still work, but you will get less money. Okay, so first, set spawn point at the marine fortress. So for low-level players, this is the best way to grind money. So guys, make sure to spawn as a marine. You will spawn here. This one, the quest giver in the marine fortress. So you can start at, I think, level 130. Yeah, you can start doing this at level 130. And the vice admiral is here. You're gonna do server hop. And every time you defeat him, you will get 15,000 bellies. Or if you have two times money, you will get 31,500 bellies. Okay? Or 30,000. If you don't have, you will get 15,000. If you have portal fruit, you can go teleport at the prison the moment you finish that. And check this out, guys. This area has three bosses. First one is the Swat. Actually, is the third one, but this has the highest bounty, so make sure to defeat this one first. There you go, guys. This gives out 15,000 bellies. Remember, how much will you get from the Vice Admiral? They're the same. That's why Vice Admiral reward is so OP. So after that, Chief uh, Warden, you will get 10,000 if you have Two times, that's 20,000. And next up, guys, is the Warden. So for the Warden, you will get 6,000 bellies, okay? So guys, if you do that properly, you will get 90,000 if you have times 2 or 45,000 if you don't have times 2. Guys, if you don't have Portal, you can just defeat, what they call this, uh, Vice Admiral only, okay? And also if you're low level. Gamer Nom, how about the chest here in the upper sky, guys? low rewards there are eight chests here that will give you a maximum of 1,000 uh, money per chest and 8,000 is the total that's really low right so if you're low level just focus on the vice admiral okay okay next up guys second C in the second C the best way I think the best way is just to defeat swan pirates guys they're easy to defeat and also they're near the quest giver as you can see guys, they're, uh, they spawn really fast. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. That's one. Every mob that you kill will give you 1,000 plus bellies. Actually, it's just uh, 600 plus if you don't have 2 times experience. So I'm also timing it to just compare the efficiency of grinding money here. As you can see guys, okay, spoiler alert. You will just need 30 seconds to finish one quest. There you go. And after that guys, there are two chests here. Actually, there are three chests here plus this one. So you will get a total of 31,000 for two times. No two times, 20,000. There's also another way to grind here. If you have portal fruit, you can just head to the winter castle. Here it is. And grind chests. So I'm going to show you all the chests here. That's one here. Okay, that's 972. Guys, times two won't uh, take effect on chests. Okay, chests, sorry. That's 3,000. Okay, 4,000, 5,000. We have three chests here. There you go. Another 900, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 12,000. And there's a diamond chest here. Oh, guys, I lost count. <laughs> Anyways, this chest will give you six or 7,000 bellies. And last two chests here. After this, guys, uh, we still have one area to go to. Actually, there are three areas. Skull Island and this one, okay, this area. But I suggest just head to the Skull Island. Oh, no, no, no. Hunted Ship. Hunted Ship or Sky Island. If you're gonna ask me, go to the Hunted Ship. Why? The, the, the chests here are near to each other, okay? So make sure to use fast mode. There's the first chest. There you go. Second chest is here. Okay. Every room here has chest, golden chests, okay? There you go. So as you can see, guys, the problem here is the time that will require you to get all of the chests. Don't worry, I will be totaling it. There you 
go. So guys, for uh, 1 minute 30 seconds, you will get 46,000 bellies. So if you're gonna ask me, just stay in the first C. Okay, one more I, I thing guys, uh, the Death King, yes, you can grind money here. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Actually, if you're gonna do Death King, just stay in the first, uh, third C, why? Check the reward guys, it's 14,000 or, wait, I, we will be getting 14,000 to 15,000 I guess. Or 13,000, okay? There you go, 13,000 to 14,000 is the range. So, you can only spin 10 times here. So, 140,000 if you're really lucky. But we're lucky here, we got a dragon fruit. Guys, I am showing you this because you can also grind money here, right? Okay. So, next up, guys, let's try it in the third C. Okay, these are the only ways to grind here in the uh, second C. Now, third C, let's check the Death King. I'm just gonna compare... Uh, which one is better, Death King in the third C or the second C or the first C? Guys, the best one is the third C. You can get more fragments, more cash. Yes. See that, guys? 18,000 here compared to 14,000 in the second C. Okay? So, guys, if you wanna... Uh, again, I'm just answering the question which uh, C will give you better cash or rewards when spinning with Death King. Okay? So... In the second C, yeah, we got the dragon, but here we also got the spirit, so yeah, they're both good, okay? <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. See that 19,000 to 18,000? Not bad, right? Yes, not bad. And see that guy? Lots of money, really fast. If you're lucky, you can get 10 times 18 to 19,000. That's 190,000, but that's kind of impossible, I think. <laughs> Anyways, we're done here, okay? Just showing you the difference of the Death Kings. And it will not increase the chance of you getting fruit in the first C, okay? Next up, chest grinds in the third C. Guys, I suggest make sure to use the fastest flying fruit in the game. Why, guys? Because we're gonna do chest grind, right? I suggest just get the four, first four uh, chests here. That's 1,800. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna count that later. I'm just gonna show you first the chests. We have one, two, three, okay... Let's defeat this one first. By the way, that's three chests, right? The fourth one is here. Actually, guys, if you're in a, in, in a hurry and... Hmm, actually, this, this first four chests doesn't matter. The most important thing is the, the uh, three chests here at the top of this island. Yes, you can do it in the public or private server. This one is rarely done. Again, faster fruit that flies is a lot better. So guys, at the top of this island, you will check this one and you will find three diamond chests. As we all know, in the third C, one chest I think will give you more than 10,000. There you go guys, 10,000. See that guys, 30,000. So guys, think of this, you're just gonna get the chest. I think it will take you 30 seconds. So we're gonna time it. And we're gonna total everything that we will get. There you go, that's 1,800. Next chest here. Okay, that's 1,5. Okay. Gamer, no, why are you timing this? Because again, I don't care if you get lots of money, if you, it will take you like uh, 30 minutes, right? The faster that you can get specific number of money and repeat it, the faster that you can get rich okay so as you can see 33 34 35 seconds 36 guys uh, all of these strategies are good but the final strategy that's a really fa that's the fastest way to grind money i'm gonna show it to you don't worry okay so in 50 seconds we were able to get a total of don't worry there you go guys 49,691. so this is kind of fast to be honest 30 seconds guys Guys, the last strategy is the expedition, but uh, this has more requirements. So first, you need a driver. For us, we have a cow driver. Check it out. A dancing cow driver, guys. Actually, don't I don't require you uh, any driver, guys. That the one who can drive. And then here are the tips. Use a ship that has the most HP. Okay. And then skip everything except for. Sea beasts or rumbling only. Okay, so guys, best area is level five or level six. But guys, as early as level four, as I was able to fight a terror shark. So guys, can you avoid this one? I am not sure, but guys, you cannot. It's really hard to avoid this one. So if 
ever you uh, face someone, make sure to just fight it. Can you defeat it face to face? Yes. Actually, you can just uh, camp in the air, but it will take you forever to defeat one. Actually, no. But guys, we're using Sanguine Art, which means we have uh, what do you call this? Life steal for the first skill. So just face it again, face to face. Uh, fight it, and if ever you have uh, low HP, just use your Sanguine Art. So, yes, I am not that uh, good at fighting it yet. I cannot time my dodge. Also, guys, even though we have Leviathan Shield, we will still get damage underwater, okay? Anyways, I'm, uh, I'm able to defeat this one. There you go. This is 2 times speed. Why are you showing us this gamer now? Is this the fastest way? No, guys, but you will get 50,000 here. Yes, 50,000 or 25,000, okay? If you don't have two times, so that's 50,000. Guys, everything here happened in less than 8 minutes. So guys, first SB that we fought is at level 5. So as you can see guys, uh, let's talk about uh, Sea Beast in Rumbling. Guys, Rumbling Sea Beast has lower HP compared to a normal Sea Beast. Also, using Sanguine Art is really good. Why? Because all of the skills can damage the Sea Beast. Some fight styles, some skills of some fight styles cannot damage this Sea Beast. Also, guys, if we're talking about damage and you're looking for a good fruit, Magma Fruit Awaken, one of the best. Also, you can walk on water. Okay, so guys, we're just gonna defeat this one. There you go. Okay, that okay. See that guys? 368,000. Just one kill. If you don't have two times, guys, uh, you'll get 180,000. Also, guys, we haven't reached level 6, but check it out. We are already facing rumbling waters. This is our target. Our, my target is just get off or fight one sea beast and one rumbling event. For every expedition, again, this took me less than 8 minutes. Imagine, guys, 8 minutes. We got more than almost 2 million bellies. That's a lot, right? 2 million 8 minutes. So, guys, I'm telling you, this one's really fast, also, guys. Uh, but, 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 what I want to say is the requirements. Okay, so here, you need Magma Awakened. Also, if you want, you can use Shark V4. Here, I'm using Gold because, again, I want Lifesteal for my first skill. Actually, first skill on my, uh, what do you call this? Actually, you will be having first skill if this is awakened, right? I mean, life steal. Sorry, I keep on saying first skill. Life steal. Also, for my sanguine art, right? I will have life steal on my melee or combat. Okay. So I think that's it. How much will you get here, gamer nom? Same price with a normal sea beast. So wait, I'm gonna show it to you. Check that damage, okay? 419,000. So I think that's it, guys. Yep, yep. We already defeated three of them. Also, while doing expedition, there are what they call this treasure islands here, just like that one. You can also get lots of money here. So, guys, I was able to get, I think, 3 million bellies in just one expedition, but there are lots of requirements in order to do it, okay? So. From 481 million, we have now 483 million. So guys, again, that's 2 million in almost 10 minutes. What do you think? Comment it in the comment section. And again, I hope that you get rich before update 21 comes out. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Realm. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.